In this video, I'll be showing a practice calculation regarding constant pressure calorimetry and using that to find the change in enthalpy of a reaction. Our objective will be focusing on calorimetry specifically under constant pressure conditions. Both of these types of calorimetry were discussed in detail in a previous video. In this type of problem, we're given a chemical reaction an amount of our reactants, and some information about the temperature change observed for the solution. Our goal will be first to find delta H of this reaction as the reaction is written in joules. Importantly, the information given here is all regarding 0.1 O3 grams of zinc combined with enough HCl to make a 50 milliliter solution. Importantly, as written, this reaction shows one mole of zinc reacting with two moles of hydrochloric acid to form one mole of zinc chloride. This is what we're actually trying to find delta H of, of the reaction as written. We're also asked if this reaction is endothermic or exothermic. We've, we're given some information about the density of the solution and its specific heat capacity. If you'd like to try working this problem out on your own, pause the video now. The information that we're given in, includes the balanced equation, the amount of zinc and HCl, we have the initial temperature and final temperature of the solution, the solution density, and its heat capacity. What we need is delta H in joules for the reaction, which as I said previously shows one mole of zinc reacting. For our strategy, Let's keep in mind the relationship for constant pressure calorimetry that we discussed in the previous video. That is that the heat of solution can be expressed as the mass of solution times the specific heat of solution times the change in temperature of the solution. Importantly, because this is taking place at constant uh, pressure, Q of the reaction here, which is equal to negative Q of the solution, is also equal to the change in enthalpy. Our first step in our strategy will be to find the mass of the solution using its density. Next, we'll solve for the heat of solution using all of the variables relevant to the solution that I just described. Then we'll take advantage of the relationship that Q of reaction is equal to negative Q of solution to calculate the change in enthalpy of the reaction. Then we need to extend this analysis to look at the change in enthalpy of the reaction for one mole of zinc reacting using the balanced equation. Let's start out by finding the mass of the solution using its density. You'll recall that the mass of a, an object is equal to the volume of that object times its density. In this case, we're talking about the solution. So the mass of the solution is equal to the volume of the solution times the density of the solution. The mass of the solution is what we're trying to find. For the reason that we want to put it into this expression for the heat of solution. The volume of the solution is given as 50 milliliters. The density of the solution is given as 1.0 gram per milliliter. This means that the mass of the solution is equal to 50 grams. Next, we can solve for Q of solution using the above expression. We now have the mass of the solution. We have the specific heat of the solution given in the problem. And we have the final and initial temperature of the solution. The final temperature was reported to be 23.7 degrees Celsius and the initial temperature 
was reported to be 22.5 degrees Celsius. Thus, Q of the solution is equal to 251 joules. It makes sense that the heat of the solution has a positive value because the solution is warming up when, the, uh, when this reaction occurs. Next, let's solve for delta H. We know that Q of solution from the previous step is equal to 251 joules. And we know that Q of the reaction is equal to negative Q of the solution from the coffee cup calorimetry video. So therefore, Q of reaction is equal to negative 251 joules. Importantly, this is for um, 0 0.103 grams of zinc reacting. So this is step three. In step four, we need to calculate delta H of reaction for one mole of zinc reacting. So let's figure out how many moles um, we had of zinc in our 0 0.103 grams. We can do that using the molar mass of zinc, which is 65.38 grams. Again, I got that from the periodic table per mole. I calculated that this is equal to 1.58 times 10 to the negative thir third moles of zinc. This means we have much less than one mole of zinc as shown in the balanced reaction. We know that for this quantity of zinc, this 1.58 times 10 to the negative three moles, we release 251 joules. That's the value for delta H of the reaction determined here. I should say that Q of the reaction is equal to delta H of the reaction because this is taking place at constant pressure. So the question I'm asking is if I have instead one mole of zinc, how many joules of energy will be released? What I calculated here for delta H of the reaction with one mole of zinc was that this would be equal to negative 1.59 times 10 to the fifth joules. This makes sense. There should be a much larger quantity of heat released if we have a much larger quantity of zinc to start with. I highly recommend doing some additional practice on this on your own after watching this video. Thanks for watching.